So how important is digital to the sports radio audience? So we ask every one of our 50,000 plus respondents to think back to the previous week and how they listened to the station that sent them the survey. So we're going to focus obviously on your kind of radio stations. We give them a list of all the different ways they can listen to your station and we ask them to assign a percentage to how much they actually consumed of each of those platforms. So this is the total audience now. This is not sports, this is all 50,000 people. And you can see the number one consumption point is people listening to radio on a regular radio in a car. It's 43% of all consumption. This is why, again, the car is so damn important. Uh, second pick a slice are people listening to a regular radio tethered at home, work, or school. Now we can add these together, and that's what this traditional box is here. About two-thirds, 65% of all broadcast radio listening is done on regular radios in cars, at home, work, or school. Digital, though, is 31%. And when you actually look at these digital slices of the consumption pie of radio stations, you can see the streaming on computers, you can see mobile apps, there's Alexa, little podcasting action, all kinds of different things going on there, different ways that people are consuming our radio stations. Now what about sports? Well, look at the traditional here, it's even lower. Well below 60%, right? 56% traditional, 42% digital. Your audience is clearly consuming you on digital platforms or consuming sports radio uh, more digitally than any of the other formats that we took a look at. And you can see how big mobile apps is in the overall consumption pie there. Smart speakers at 7%, that is a huge deal. So this really gives you an idea of how your world is changing, but you don't really get a perspective for that unless you actually trend back. And I went back seven years just to see how these traditional and digital lines have changed over the past seven years for sports radio. So let's take a look. That's traditional. Back in 2013, it was 76% of all sports radio consumption, down all the way now to 56. And conversely, here's digital. Started at 24% back in 2013, all the way up now to 42%. This is getting close. <coughs> at what point are these two lines gonna touch? I'm so damn old, I actually remember when FM radio passed AM radio for the first time in the mid-70s. And let me tell you, it was a frickin' revolution. It was just an amazing thing. The industry truly shook when that happened. I don't know that that's going to be the case when these two lines finally touch here, but you can definitely see the trajectory. You can see where the puck is absolutely moving. 